and I would have butterflies because I couldn't sneak out the back of the school. I wouldn't let myself do it. So I'd march out and I was more afraid of what the police would do to me after I stood up to them. And I haven't had those feelings since I was about 11 or 12 years old. And I have that feeling now all the time. I mean, I got to make myself breathe. I mean, I am just in total combat mode right now at a biological level. I mean, our country is falling. We're going down right now. The government is so evil. It publicly funded hardcore Nazis that actually Heil Hitler to overthrow. George Soros bragged about it a month ago. He admitted he did it to overthrow with the State Department and five billion Ukraine to try to start a war with Russia. Now, that backfired so much so they elected a new guy that is elected. <clears throat> but Obama said the unelected people were duly elected. They are proxy warring Libya, Syria, everybody else to get at Iran through Iraq. They are putting Al-Qaeda in to murder every Christian and every Shiite they come across. Maliki, the Iraqi president, has come out against Iran saying, you're in a secret deal with the U.S. to take a third of the country for a Shiite area. Then you're going to break it up and give part of it to Saudi Arabia, the north of the Kurds. He's being an Iraqi patriot. I've got to say it's saying all Iraqis together against this breakup of Iraq. That's what's happening right now. And I said this would happen back on December 6, 2012. We have the video of that. And I draw a little image from here in the radio studio. It was actually the TV studio of that on a piece of paper, and I'm going to show that video, and then I, Alex blows the whistle on Benghazi gate cover-up. That was January 23rd, 2013, so this is all about a year and a half ago, and there's literally hundreds of these, but these are the, the guys dug up four of them, great job to the whole crew, and listeners sending us tips, but you get sent a 30-minute show that's on YouTube, and you got to watch it to find the clip, so we got four of these right now. Here I am breaking down the grand strategy, okay? You want to find it online on other people's channels, not even our channels, with the time stamp date. Syria ripe for false flag. It's a nine-minute, 16-second video. We'll just play the short clip of it. You want to watch the full thing in context. Syria ripe for false flags, the name. Second video, Alex Blow's been Gazi cover up wide open. That's a 34-minute video. We're going to play just a few minutes of that. So here I am predicting it all. Let's uh, go to the first clip from December of 2012, over a year and a half ago. These guys out of Saudi Arabia, who they brought into Libya next to, next to Egypt, are now going up here just north of Israel and Lebanon. They are now going into Syria, which is to get ready to go into Iran over here. They are openly with signs on the BBC saying, we're done with Libya, we're going to Syria. They do this, 50,000 at least. They've been given... And here's the key, not 1,000, not 2,000, not 3,000, not 4,000, not 5,000, not 6,000, not 7,000, not 8,000, not 9,000, not 10,000, not 11,000, 20,000 surface-to-air, heat-seeking, and radar-guided SAM missiles. And they are now saying that when, this is in the news, this is LA Times, McClatchy, you name it. Our government gave it to them, our banker-run government. You understand how big this is. They are saying that they are going, let me repeat this again, to take over Libya. They did that. Next, we're going to Syria. Now they say we're going to Iran, to which go is Shiite, Iraq. the Muslim minority. They're going to go to Iran, and when they're done, they're going to USA. And the feds which are Federal Reserve bankers, they are absolutely going to arm them to come to America, attack us, and then they're going to take all our liberties in the name of fighting Al-Qaeda that they run. The bankers run Al-Qaeda to take over Libya, to take over Syria, to take over Iran, to take over Iraq previously, and now Al-Qaeda, run by British intelligence for 100 years, is going to attack America and shoot down aircraft with heat-seeking and radar-guided missiles. They stand um, two miles from, I'm, I'm like three miles from the airport. I could, these guys could sit there and just wait till aircraft pull, pull off, take off, blow them up. When they're coming in, blow them up. And they will do it. And the media thinks you're so dumb 
they are going to do all this until you give your rights up because of Al Qaeda. And it may not even be Al Qaeda, it may be other mercenaries doing it. I mean, this is how you bring a country down. If you're bankers, you've got terrorists, extremists, whoever, you use them to stage stuff to scare everybody to take over. We'll be back. I mean, is this we'll be back. Hey folks, this is Larry Crisp for BabyBoomerBackupPlan.com. I don't have to tell you, this economy sucks. Unlike the political elite and Wall Street bankers, you know that debts don't disappear and bailouts have big consequences. Stock and real estate market bubbles can pop at any moment and evaporate most or all of your retirement savings. Folks, we're in the weakest economy of our lifetime and it's likely to get much worse. Virtually zero sectors of the economy are hiring and workforce participation is at record lows. And I'm here to tell you, this may be the best thing that could happen to you if you move decidedly and develop a backup plan immediately. Proportionately, more millionaires were created during the Great Depression than at any time in history, and history is about to repeat itself. Get my free report at babyboomerbackupplan.com or call 888-507-8789. That's 888-507-8789. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex. Get the most important package of information you'll ever receive in your life for only $10. The package includes three books and seven DVD programs which cover biblical miracles and prophecy. The Shroud of Turin, The Third Secret of Fatima, What Really Happened to the Catholic Church, and more. Call 800-513-0029. That's 800-513-0029. Or go to VaticanCatholic.com. That's VaticanCatholic.com. 800-513-0029. VaticanCatholic.com. Are you happy doing your laundry with perfume detergents that irritate your skin? Are you happy washing your hands with stinking fragrances that gives your skin rashes? Are you happy paying new, higher prices for smaller boxes? Find your happiness today with our one to four year supply of pure soaps or our one to two month sampler with bar soap, shampoo, laundry, and dish soap at fivestarsoap.com. You deserve the best. Happiness is fivestarsoap.com. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Steve Theodoropoulos and Henry Preston uh, are really huge whistleblowers. And they're a lot of the reason that you have seen all these headlines that have been kind of whitewashed by the state-run uh, dominant media. Air marshals gone wild, tales of sexism, suicide, and bigotry. Report on Federal Air Marshal Service 
paints an unflattering picture, CNN, uh, head of Orlando Air Marshal's office to retire. And then it gets into all the things that went on there. I remember hearing about Homeland Security where they'd make the men, you know, office out of the bathrooms. Well, then they would have like, you know, men, white men being mean to minorities. I mean, it's just whoever the clique is, they're being mean to people. And we've got two major whistleblowers on with us who have a lot of courage. Uh, so Steve and Henry, um, Theodoropoulos and uh, Henry Preston, thank you both for coming on. This is only a six-minute segment, an 18-minute segment's coming up. Uh, bottom line, I know the media tends to only focus on what they want to focus on. Kind of tell us the breadth of what you're blowing the whistle on, and then we'll come back and get into uh, specifics. Because you're, you're talking about gun running, you know, not just all the red meat sexist stuff, which I want to get into as well, and racist stuff. Uh, it just sounds like par for the course in the federal government, really bizarre culture, and I just don't understand it, so maybe you can explain it to us. Well, when we dug into the uh, the recent report out of the Senate, uh, we, we learned that uh, Charlie Edwards uh, was sanitizing that Secret Service report. I don't know if you had a chance or an opportunity to read through that, but Charlie Edwards is key to the air marshal investigation that was conducted in 2010 because he was in charge of that investigation. And as you read through the investigation, you find that it wasn't widespread, they say, that the, the retaliation and discrimination and the hostile working environment was so minor. I mean, they downplayed everything, but this is coming from a guy who's already testified to Congress that uh, he cleaned up the other report. So we're quite sure that the, the current report has uh, been sanitized and we go one step further. In, in July of 2010, the inspectors came in and spoke directly with Mr. Preston in regards to the original report that was done by TSA inspections. And uh, will Mr. Preston tell them what they said? Uh, they basically told me that uh, uh, my report wasn't in there. My 18 page sworn statement that I gave to TSA was not included in their report. And they were looking forward to meeting with me and copying my documentation for their report. So that's how we knew, Alex, that there was a cover-up. It was, it was pretty clear right from the beginning that if you don't have the eyewitness who was in the training division observing these things daily, then you're obviously whitewashing everything from the very beginning. Well, I've seen so many scandals. You name it, there's been a scandal where they're supposed to fake profile people and create a certain number of people on a list that end up getting on a list maybe over food they ordered. I remember seeing that years ago in Denver. And then you read about uh, just, just you name it, it's going on uh, in the air marshals. You were both air marshals. Describe briefly your careers, uh, whoever wants to start first and why you've decided to go public. Well, we decided to go public because once I got, I mean, we heard we heard about the scandals, we heard about the discrimination. Um, we kind of witnessed it with, with individuals in the office that were going through this. Um, and then I got a promotion into the training division as a trainer, um, instructor, and I seen it firsthand. There was a whiteboard hanging on a wall that was a Jeopardy style board that they had a list of people that they, the employees, by the way, that the air marshals that they were discriminating against. And as you can see the whiteboard behind us here, um, it's a Jeopardy style board. And they would put you on the board uh, depending upon what you did. If they didn't like you for, because you were gay, uh, you would be put in the Ellen DeGeneres category. And they would continue doing this. If you're Hispanic, you're in Geraldo Rivera. And if they really wanted to ruin your career, they would put you in the Ted Bundy category. And that would mean cut your legs off and rip your career apart. That would uh, uh, definitely make you unemployable, uh, even flipping hamburgers at McDonald's. And this, is, this was their culture because they didn't want their little country club that they were running uh, disturbed in any way. So as soon as you challenge them in any way um, about a policy or procedure, um, or like I said, they didn't like you because of your race, your color, your creed, you were put on this board and you were discriminated against until they terminated you. We have, we have documentation, documentation on this with people who have been targeted, uh, have been terminated or severely disciplined for minor, minor infractions or something that they might have um, not done, but they were just picked on. Wow, uh, Henry Preston, uh, amazing. Stay right there, you were a trainer and saw all this. Uh, Steve uh, saw a lot of this stuff as well. I want to go over this. I mean, it just, I just can't imagine running an operation like that.
Uh, I mean, I run an operation off how good you perform, not what color you are. Amazing. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Major whistleblowers. We're